to the third tutorial for steel connection design in this video we will be designing double angle shear connection the double angle can be welded or bolted to the column but may be bolted or welded to the beam in this type of connection only intention is to transfer the shear force from the supports the scenario in the video involves design of purlin to the column as shear connection the etap model of the structure is already provided you can use any other analysis software as well we have to design the shear connection for the beam column the type of connection in ram connection is referred as dabcw or dabcf based on its beam column flange or beam column web connection so first i will be hiding the moment resisting frame parts in which we have to design moment connection so i'll be hiding them the moment connection will be covered in later part of this course also we are not supposed to design the purlins in this video which were designed in the lecture 1 so i'll be hiding the purlins as well now we are left with beam column connection of web and flange this connection is called beam column flange connection we'll be designing one connection for beam column flange and this type of connection is called beam column web connection we'll be designing one of this connection as well in this video first starting with beam column flange connection so i'll be hiding the beam column web connected members you can use an any analysis software i'm using etabs because we have completed the etabs course and the link to complete course is given in description of this video for starting with axial forces let's start with adding up the connection details here it's a beam column flange connection the code was bcf connection the beam size here is 1835 and the column size is 1474 which you can check from here 1474 now the length of the beam is an important parameter the length of the beam is 20 feet for beam column flange connection the material properties are 50 ksi grade in american standards you can change them to any standard you are using i'll be adding beam column web connection as well as in this video we'll be designing beam column web connection as well so the length of this beam is 15 feet for beam column web connection I'll be adding the dead load, live load, and seismic loads for design of the connections. I'll also be generating how to generate the ASCE LRFD combinations. These are the list of combinations which will be generated for our specific load cases. I'll add the loads. error shear force and axial force now i'll be hiding the members apart from beam column flange connection and with moment releases since it is a shear connection the edge members were hided although they were beam column con flange connections as well but they didn't have the moment released as they were moment resisting frames i'll be starting with extracting the forces from the members the maximum forces will be selected for the design forces are in kips as shown in the bracket here 
and similarly here the forces are in pips similarly for earthquake in x direction the maximum forces can be taken as negative or positive the sign preferably will be taken if the dead load is positive and live load is positive so the same sign will result in most critical combination Point zero eight three. But careful with the magnitude, pick the highest magnitude. As in earthquake combination, there is an alternative sign as well in combinations, so it will be covered in there. But the magnitude should always be correct. Live load, shear force, shear 2 2. EQX shear force 0. As already told that it's on a moment resisting frame, the, the flexure is released. 0 moment at support, 0 moment at support. Hence, we can use a shear connection which we are exactly using ok similarly I will be loading forces for the beam column web connection word visibility and also hide the edge members which are having no moment releases and require moment connections the moment connection will be designed in later part of this course after we have recovered most of the shear connections. Let's start with extracting the axial forces in the members for beam column web connection. Added loads. The loads and load cases are already added for which I, I will be designing the beam column flange and web connection. You have to define them only once. While the values for both connections can be different, so they can be defined twice. EX forces. Now you have a choice of taking negative or positive. So preferably since the dead load and live load axial forces are negative. So take them negative. Take the negative highest but the magnitude should be highest shear force due to dead load shear force due to live load shear force due to seismic in x and seismic in y direction okay also check the moment as we know that the moment will be zero at supports that's why we are using the shear connection seismic in x direction and y direction it is also zero let's start with the design of the connections so we are done with loading forces in both beam column flange and beam column web connections now assign the con configuration that is DA. We can also select DA all bolted or all welded. So for here we can use DA all bolted. Let's start with it. The green color stress ratio shows that the connection is passed with the default configuration applied by the software itself. Since there is a lot of question in factor of safety, we can further make the connection economical. These are the forces taken by the software based on the combinations, construction criteria, properties of the beam, which we can change, and the cope distance. The column is ending since it is a single story structure. The connector is the angle which we are using to connect pick a 
member which have a bit distance to at least leave 1.5 inches from the edge or 2 inches. Since the stress ratio is very low, we can further economize the connection by selecting a lower diameter of the bolt. And two bolts are also working, so we can further reduce the number of bolts as the forces are too low. Now similarly for the support size, reduce the bolt size and the number of bolts. And similarly the distance since it is becoming yellow so it means that it is not passing with one or two code checks so you can see the length of angle minimum and maximum value our value is 7 inch and the minimum value required is 8 inch so we need to increase the length of the angle we can increase the vertical edge distance which need to be balanced you can also adjust the horizontal edge distances. Let's make it symmetric. I'm making here as 2 as well. Although it is passing the code check, but from detailing perspective, I'll always put at least 3 bolts here as the beam depth is really high here, which is 18 inches. Just for demonstration purposes, the SD code allows use of this connection and the stress ratio is 0.53 so we can use this on the design and drawings. So even quarter inch angle is working here. We can further make it economical as there is a lot of options here available for the angle sizes from the AISC 14 library okay the plate material is A36 having 36 KSI yield strength you can check the results and if there is everything green here and less than 1 it means your connection is okay the design drawings can also be exported to DXF which is a format readable by the AutoCAD Let's start with the beam column web connection. The 0.53 green color shows that we are okay with the stress ratio. In this one, we will be trying the DA welded connection. We can also take the bolted connection in this one as well. But just for demonstration purposes, we are taking welded one here. The result says that the minimum value of length is 8 inch and we have taken 6 inch which is default by the software so we can edit the connection length column is ending here angle section we are selecting is Increase the length of the angle to 8 inch. We are taking 8 inch but minimum is 8.02 inch. Let's take it 9 inches. But still the connection is not passing one of the code checks. The torsion induced in support due to weld is due to axial load. AISC recommends connection to be bolted. So we can also select the bolted or welded connection but recommendation from the code is to make the connection as bolted so I've bolted the connection at the column stress ratio is still 0.17 the value of angle since we have made the connection bolted so it has overwritten our length of the angle which was specified as 9 inch it has changed to 5 inches Weld size as already told that at least take quarter inch thick weld which is in inches. So there are only two bolts we can increase the number of bolts so that the angle length increases or spacing of the bolts could also have result in 
increase of angle length but i'd prefer practically to make higher number of volts because it is a large member connection the stress ratio is 0.011 which is very less it can also be further economized you can also print and export the report and the drawing can also be exported into AutoCAD format. Subscribe to the channel and visit the channel and see the links in description for complete courses for different softwares.